Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good, because it's good to feel good. And you know that, as I say it in every video, and you probably get bored of me saying that. But nonetheless, it's worth saying, because, in fact today, it's worth saying, because it's I'm celebrating something special today. Today is my fifth anniversary since I started my YouTube channel, and wow, has it? Is it really that time, Ollie? Like, where has the time gone, Ollie? How is it five years since you started your YouTube channel? Well, I guess that's just natural. That's how it is. It's been five years since I started this channel. But nonetheless, let's get on with the actual video. It's Ollie, the guy who likes pandas. So, what am I doing as part of my fifth anniversary celebrations? Well. The first video that you're seeing on my 5th anniversary celebration is a countdown list. And essentially this countdown list is basically my what I consider to be my top 10 best moments from the past 5 years. It's not exactly everything but just 10 moments that stick out and I think this is awesome. Like some of the stuff that I've done is awesome and I want to do a countdown list. Let's. Let's just stop babbling on because you, you all know how countdown lists work. You count from 10 and then you get to 1 and then 1 is like the most important thing that you think you've done. But yeah, let's go on. So before I start this list, I want to say thank you to everyone who's gotten involved with my channel throughout the past 5 years. I mean like, whether that be friends, whether that be viewers, just everyone who's gotten involved. And when I mean everyone, he's doing it again. I mean... And without further ado, number 10, Summer in the City 2013. Now, this event was pretty big in its own way because it was my first ever time going to a YouTube convention. I mean, I've been to like gatherings and like parks and stuff before, but never to a full on convention or for a weekend where, you know, I've got the chance to meet YouTubers, you know, interact with people. I was really excited for this event. I didn't exactly know what was going to happen, but stuff happened. I mean, I met a great array of YouTubers that weekend. I met people like Joey Graceffa, Jack and Finn, Louis Cole, Alfie Days, Marcus Butler, Jim Chapman. The, the, the list goes on. And like, I mean, it was weird meeting these people in person. Like, I watched these people online and meeting them in person is like, it's a whole different experience. Like, there's so many people who went as well. Like, I'm really thankful for the people I met. And also, you know, just like the friends and that I made that weekend. And, you know, just people. Ah, oh, it's too much. I, lo I love that event. I really do love that event. And I'm really thankful that was my first ever YouTube event. Number nine. The bath videos. I mean, come on. If you're going to do a countdown list, you've got to put something completely random that you've done on your channel into that list. I mean, the bar videos, I mean, I've only done two. No, actually, there was one that I did years and years ago, which is like a, just a 10 second clip of me getting into the bath. In fact, here it is. <laughs> and that somehow evolved into me doing bath videos, like actually doing vlogs in the bath. like. It does sound a bit weird just saying that, but that's how it went down. Like, I mean, I was just, you know, doing my thing. And I mean, the multiple camera angles that I was doing it at, it's like, oh man, Ollie, what is he up to? But yeah, that's something I can really say, hey, I did that on my channel and I'm proud of that. That's the way of saying it. Number eight, my first ever collaboration video that I did with my good friend, Rebecca. And this was back three years ago just before my first ever summer in the city. Now, before this, me and Rebecca had like started talking to each other around April of that year, and like we had always said, hey, we should meet up for summer in the city, and we decided, you know what, let's meet up before summer in the city, and we decided to do a collaboration. Like I'd never, up until this point, I had never actually done a collaboration with another YouTuber at, up until this point, and for this video, we did well, basically, I told Rebecca, like, some British slang words. Like, ironically, these aren't words that I use in my everyday life, but I thought, you know what, they're interesting. And it's worth telling her some British slang. And then, exactly 18 months later, we've reunited at Playlist Live, 
and we filmed another video where she did my makeup and oh that was interesting and obviously I did that as my alter ego Lucy speaking of which number seven Lucy just everything about Lucy now I didn't know what I was doing at this point I had lost my damn mind doing these Lucy videos so I don't know why just something popped into my head like I wanted to like add a little character to my YouTube channel and I thought Do you know what Lucy is what could make this channel a bit cooler now I haven't exactly done a Lucy video since playlist live last year and I'm thinking do I need to make a comeback or do I need to officially retire it but I've not made a decision yet and I might just might do a Lucy video once in a while because why not why the hell not but Lucy has been an interesting part of my channel and that's definitely a moment to remember number six Sardinia 2013 which was also my first time vlogging now again up until this point I had never like actually done daily vlogging before now I mean I'd given it a try like you know doing a vlog I think I did one was it must have been like in April of that year and I was like this is all right for a vlog I guess well as time has gone on I have started doing more public vlogs like you know just with friends and stuff like that at events and stuff like that and then also and I was always coining around the idea because I remember like leading up to that holiday I'd always been watching a few daily vloggers like you know just vlogging their everyday life doing like stuff and all cool things and I was like do you know what I'm gonna give this a try so on that holiday I, me and my family, we went out to Sardinia. We did a lot of cool stuff. I even had a GoPro as well. I still have that GoPro actually. And I got a cool bunch of water shots, which I'm very proud of. And like, I'm very proud of putting it on YouTube. And since vlogging, I've been vlogging pretty much throughout the world. I mean, I've been vlogging in like Germany. I've been vlogging in Spain. I was vlogging in America last year. And I'm gonna be doing it again later this year. So that should be fun. Number five. Miranda Singh Show 2014. Oh man, this is a, this was a fun memory. I I have a lot of fun memories about this day, and it's something to look back on and think, oh my gosh, this actually happened. It was September? Well, it wasn't. This is not when it happened, but it was September when I bought a ticket for that show, and I was like, I'm going to this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna vlog it as well because why not? I can do that, even though on the ticket it said no cameras but I love how during the show Colleen also said that you know do all the use all your cameras if you want like that's what I love like you know as a youtuber that's something to respect you know even if you know the theatre or venue says no like photography or filming the performer will always say you know what you can record all you like but anyway, what happened was there was a segment of the show where she was looking for volunteers and I, I, I put my hand up and in my best Katniss Everdeen impression I said I volunteer as tribute. I didn't actually, but I was standing up trying to get her to recognise me and then she pointed me out, she asked me to come up on stage and then I took my, I took my trusty camera with me. Where is that? You know what, where is, where is that old camera? Oh, Yeah, look. Oh, this is, it feels like it's all rusty and that, this camera now. Like, I mean, I was vlogging on that camera. I was very proud that say, hey, look, I'm vlogging. And like, I love how, as a hint, like it's just a, that bit of improvisation where she notices that I'm filming and then she obviously plugs herself in my vlog. In fact, here it is. And then just randomly she starts dancing around the three of us who are there and I just couldn't stop laughing when I was there. Like it was such it was such a cool moment, like saying, hey, oh my gosh, I'm doing this with Miranda Sings. It almost kind of classes as a collab video, if you think about it. Or not. Oh well. But again, it was a moment that, you know, I was very proud of this moment. I really enjoyed being in that moment and just, you know having fun. Number four, Summer in the City 2014. Now I've got a lot of reasons why I really 
enjoyed this event. First of all, again, now, first of all, it was all about being around friends. Now, this year, I just made a decision, you know what, I'm not going to do meetups because it's just, uh, it's just too much. It's too much hassle. Like, if I want to be around friends, I don't want to, you know, let leave them out. I want to do my own thing with them and, you know, let them have fun as well. But I did do a lot of stuff. I mean, I was doing a lot of the karaoke. I was doing a lot of this and that. I don't even know what I was doing. I can't even remember. It's two years ago and I can't even remember what I was doing. I definitely think one of the highlights of that year was Louise's Glitter Time panel where she was taking questions from the audience and then asked me then I put my hand up, she got me to do a question, I would you ever, like I basically said along the lines of would you ever consider going to new countries that you've never been to before, I didn't actually ask that but I just asked it along the lines of that question and she said she was all a bit nervous about doing that whole idea and then I talked about how I was a bit nervous doing that idea as well and then I also talked about how my diagnosis of Asperger's has come to this occasion where it makes me feel a bit anxious sometimes but with this whole confidence boost from YouTube and other stuff like theatre work that I've done before, it's made me a really confident person. And then the thing, the thing that really made my day, or my weekend rather, was that round of applause from everyone. And it's just something I didn't expect. And like, it's just something, hey, th this happened, what the hell? Like, I'm proud of myself, man. Oh, jeez, that's, it's crazy how that happened. And then, oddly enough, six months later, I ended up seeing Louise again at Playlist Live, like, just out of nowhere. Like, I was with Dodie and Evan, and, was it, we went back to the Marriott for the evening, and then we bumped into Louise, and then I, you know, I reintroduced myself saying, hey, I don't know if you recall, but we met six months ago and stuff like that. And then, stuff happened. I'm not going to go into detail what happened, but, you know, stuff happened at Playlist Live with me. Dodie, Evan, and Louise. And number three, my first ever video. Now, I was originally going to put this as my number one, but I realised there's something else that sticks out that I think is definitely worth the number one spot. But my first ever video, there's no, there's not much detail to go into it, to be honest. It's just a cringe fact. It's just the cringe factor that's in it. I mean, I posted this five years ago today, and I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Like, I, I just generally thought, hey, I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna wear a hat, I'm gonna wear sunglasses. In fact, where are my sunglasses? Let's try and recreate that video. Hey guys, so I have basically started a new YouTube channel because my other channel got hacked. And yeah, that's, a, that's essentially how the video was. I'm not gonna like, you know, go over it, but that's essentially how it was. It was so cringy that I just, I don't even want to look at it. And I know I'm gonna look at it like fully when I'm doing my whole reacting to video. By the way, that's, that's the second part of this anniversary special. Number two, my Asperger story. Now, this is a very, I, I gotta say, this is a very proud moment that I have on my channel in the past five years. I mean. I remember I just left school, it was like a full on summer of doing whatever I want because I mean I had a long summer holidays and it just, I wanted to do a lot of stuff like I wanted to film videos with friends, I wanted to do all this, I wanted to do that and one of the videos I really wanted to film was a video talking about my diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome something I had been coining around for a while and I didn't really know how to get it across but I did, I scripted it, which is, it, it, I don't usually script videos but this was a, a one-off occasion where I did script a video and I'm very proud of how it turned out, like I didn't know how it was going to come, come across but I just went into detail like how it's been, you know like something that has barred me throughout my life like something that's like hindered, it hindered, that's the word I was looking for, something that's hindered me throughout my life, like something that's come with limits, something that's come with, you know, barriers, something that, you know, prevents me from doing the things I want to do. And probably seeing myself five years ago, I was that person, like I was very unconfident, I was not great socially, and I didn't really know how to come across to people. 
but with this whole confidence boost from, as I say, YouTube, theatre work, and all this other stuff, it's just boosted my confidence, and I'm really, I'm really proud of like where I've come in the past five years, if that's a way of saying it. And with that Asperger's video, that's just one way of getting it across. That's one way of saying, hey, I may have this label. And that's another thing that I want to mention is like how it led to my life without labels video, where it's basically me saying where I may have this label, but it doesn't affect me how I am as a person. It doesn't make me any different. It like I'm just I'm not a label, I'm not Asperger's, I'm not socially anxious, I'm not nervous, I'm just Ollie. That's who I am. And that's kind of the message I wanted to get across in those videos. And yeah, that's 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 a cool thing that I'm really kind of proud of from doing that video. Anyway, before I go on to my number one pick. I just want to take a look back at some honourable mentions. So, as you may or may not notice now, I have a tattoo. Yep, I got a tattoo done. Okay, I watched an episode of NXT and it drove me insane. The Phenom is leaving the WWE. He's decided to undertake a new job. What is my number one all-time moment on my channel? Drumroll, please. <laughs> my trip to America and Play This Live 2015. Now, there were many fun memories from this trip, and there's a re there are a lot of reasons why I class this as my all-time favorite moment of my channel in the past five years. That, that should be like an accolade or something all-time favourite moment of the past five years on Hollywood 96. We need like a trophy or something for that, but but why America, Ollie? Why is this moment so special? I mean, first of all, it was my first trip abroad without parents or guardians or teachers or anything like that. It was my first time going to America, and also it was my first time going to a country completely by myself. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, honestly thought, something's bad is gonna happen on this trip. But, I mean, obviously I did get interrogated, but that's not the bad thing. I didn't think that would happen either. But then, obviously, all the fun stuff that happened the weekend I was at Play This Live. I mean, before, I was, like, you know, chilling with YouTubers. Like, I mean, Dodie and Evan. Like, I was hanging out with them, just, you know. I was with them at Universal Studios, also along with Tom Scar as well. And just, that, that was a fun day in itself. I mean, you know, just doing all these fun stuff, going on rides, all this fun stuff. I'm gonna say all that fun stuff. We should create a drinking game. Every time I say all that fun stuff, down it. Down your drink. If you've got a drink right now, like obviously alcoholic beverages, but I mean you can do like, you know, like a bottle of squash or something. Just down that. And then, you know, every time I say all that fun stuff, then just down it. Obviously, Play With Slide was that weekend, and I had met some really cool YouTubers. I even reunited and met up with like friends that I'd known through the internet. Rebecca being one of them, like reuniting with her was such a cool moment because like, I hadn't seen her in 18 months on this weekend. Meeting YouTubers was like a big thing, and like going to panels. I mean, I met YouTubers such as Tyler Oakley, Zoella, who else did I meet? I met Kevin from the YouTube channel iSexy. Like, just, it's, again, going to events and, you know, meeting all these people you've been watching, like, for years or something like that, and, you know, getting to meet them and talk to them in person, it's cool, it's very cool, like, I, I genuinely didn't think I would meet all these people that I ended up meeting, but I've, I'm happy that I did, and that's 
one of my all-time favorite moments like just being there and just experiencing everything about that trip was just so great and I'm really 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 f glad and thankful that I went on that trip I'm definitely gonna do it again sometime I mean obviously I'm going out to Los Angeles later this year and I think that trip is gonna be awesome I can't wait for that trip I'm definitely gonna have the time of my life on that trip so yeah let's get ready for that and that's my list that's the top 10 moments of my channel if you think there's something I missed out like in terms of like on that list or even in the honorable mentions let me know in the comments below and tell me one of your favorite moments from my channel like something that I may not have picked up on but you know something that you know sticks out for you what have you enjoyed about my channel let me know in the comments below or let me on, you know on Twitter or any of the social medias do people even call them social medias like I just I prefer to call it social places that's that's the way of seeing it but yeah just tell me anything you know that you've enjoyed about what I've been doing in the past five years and yeah there we go anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the second part of my uh, five year anniversary special I forgot what it was for a second and I will be reacting wait can I still say that word is, and let me know, is the Fine Bros thing still resolved? Has it been resolved? Because I want to know if I can actually say React. Because if I can't say React, then I can't exactly say what the video is. It'll just have to be a watching an old video and talking about what I think of it now video. That's what it's going to have to be. Or if, it, if the whole thing has been resolved, it can be a React video. I'm hoping it has been resolved, so I can say React. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the first part of my 5th anniversary special and I will see you in part 2. Thank you very much for watching and like, comment, subscribe and share the love. See ya!